So Boolean algebra is deals with the binary numbers zeros and one, or with the concept of true or false, or in other words, we can say with truth table. Computer is divided into three parts. One is input unit and output unit. Next one is CPU or central processing unit. We have different types of SQL commands like DDL, DML, DCL, and TCL. Dear students, welcome to computer science classes. I am Ravi Kumar Kyar, lecturer in computer science, Vidyasham First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, in this session, let us discuss about the syllabus of first semester BCA syllabus. Now here, the agenda of the syllabus is, we have to, or the learning outcome will be there and what are the units and internals as well as exam pattern. So we are going to discuss about these points in this session. So it is nothing but introduction to syllabus. Here, one is prerequisites. Now, what are the learning outcome? Means at the end of this course or at the end of the session, the students come in satisfactorily a student will be able to so introduction he should be aware of or he should be learning the concept like introduction to computers classification and components and different components of computer system and what are operating systems functions of operating systems classifications and other details about software and again database concept nowadays Database, we are using everywhere the concept of database. So about database and what are the applications of database, users of database and what is SQL, it is structured query language and all these things, I mean the student must be in a position to answer, understand these concepts at the end of this course. Now let us move on to next slide. So here again, we are going to cover internet basics features of basic definition of internet and basic applications of internet and technical terms involving in internet and web programming basics. So all of you know what is web, web programming or web designing or website. So this is here we are going to learn the basic definition of few terms which we are using in web designing concept. And again, introduction to computers, classification, and uh, anatomy of computers and architecture as well as microcontroller microcontrollers see these are the concept to be understood by the students at the end of the course this is the learning outcome now let us move on to the syllabus and here this syllabus is divided into three units so here is unit 1 in unit 1 we are going to learn the fundamentals of computers actually the paper itself is foc that is fundamental of computers so under that the unit one here in first unit we are going to learn the fundamentals of computers means the basics of computer system and these few terms may be familiar may be familiar to you and you might have studied learning all these things in your previous classes so here we are going to start with computers definition of computers and what are the characteristics of computers is nothing but we are using um, we are using computer for specific reason the purpose is why we are using computers because of its characteristics that is nothing but speed memory accuracy all things we are going to cover in the concept characteristics of computer system and evolution or history of computer system so in this concept we are going to learn and present day computer is there and what made them to invent or develop a system like computers now and what was the devices they were using in a few decades back or a few centuries back that is the history of computers or evolution of computers next types of computers and the present day computers is not is a one type of computers and apart from this we have come across different types of computers like mainframe computers mini computers supercomputers and so on 
So all this comes into the heading types of computers. Next concept is number system. This is a number system is a concept of conversion from one number system to another number system. And here, if we talk about number systems, we have different types of number system. For example, binary number system, octal number system, hexadecimal number system, and decimal number system. And those we are going to learn the definition and also conversion from one number system to another number system. That is what we are going to cover in this, the heading number system and also about computer codes. Now it is, you might have heard the ASCII code, the like ASCII and FCD and BCD gray code. See, these are all different types of coding system what normally we use in computers or computer words based on this coding system. So this is number system and computer codes. Next concept is Boolean algebra. So Boolean algebra is deals with the binary numbers zeros and one or with the concept of true or false or in other words we can say with truth table and we say truth table and truth values. That is the definition we are going to learn here and apart from this we have types of software. We are learning the basic definition of software, different types of software like system software and application software and so on. And if we talk about system software, for example, operating system is a type of software. And also if we talk about MS Word or application or MS Office application, all these are application software. We are going to learn different types of software and utility software. See, apart from system and application software, we have we will come across different soft types of software like uh, translators, linkers, and loaders, everything comes under utility software. Means just even even antivirus software itself is utility software. And we are going to learn computer languages. Now, if you talk about a word computer language, what is a la computer language? A language which a computer can understand. So we have to write a program by using a computer language. So we are going to learn different types of language like machine level language. This was the first language, assembly level language and high level language. Nowadays we are using high level language for writing different types of program for different applications. This is about machine level languages. Then again translators. These are nothing but system programs and we have assembler, interpreter and compiler. It depends on the a software or depend on the application. So all these has to be the translator is nothing but the programs is written in one of the high level language. It has to be translated into machine level language because all of you know that computer can understand only machine level language. So that is the concept of a language translator. Next comes algorithms and flowchart and pseudo code. So here these are the steps involving in problem solving over computers or before we start writing a program, the user or the programmer can make use of algorithms and flowcharts and pseudocode. These are nothing but planning for a particular program for application. So algorithm is a textual representation. Again, it is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a particular problem. And what is flowchart? Again, it is a step-by-step -step procedure, but we are representing with the help of some geometrical shapes that is called flowchart. So this is, these are nothing but your algorithm and flowcharts. And again, other than this, we are going to discuss about different types of computer, as I told you in the beginning, mainframe computers, mini computers, supercomputers, so on. So this is under unit one, we are going to cover these concepts. Now let us move on to next slide and here unit 2. In unit 2 it is heading is anatomy of computers. So under this we are going to study functions and components of computer. This is the physical parts of computers and CPU and microprocessor storage unit and I.O. devices or input output devices. Generally, these are the basics of computer system, the physical computer system, the parts of computer system. As all of you know, computer is divided into three parts. One is input unit and output unit. Next one is 
CPU or Central Processing Unit. So we are going to learn again the different parts of CPU like memory unit for storage, CU means control unit for controlling or coordination as well as ALU for uh, it stands for arithmetic and logic unit that is where the arithmetic or logical function operation takes place. So we are going to learn all these things under the heading uh, the anatomy of computers. Next again how CPU and memory works same thing and program execution with illustrative example and introduction to microcontrollers. Next, next one is heading is operating system fundamentals. Now operating system is a type of system software. So we are going to learn what is the definition of operating system and functions of operating system and also classification of operating system means one operating system I mean is not applicable or it, it may not serve the purpose for different applications. So based on this we have different types of operating system and the two for different applications. For example, multi-user operating system or network operating system, all these are examples of types of operating system. We are going to learn the definition of different types of operating system. Next, application programs, types of program. Again, we are going to learn about the Unix operating system and basic Unix commands and here Unix is one operating system and we are going to learn the basics of Unix operating system and basic commands of Unix operating system. Let us move on to the next slide and here is unit 3. So this unit 3, the next one is introduction to database management system. This is called database or DBMS or RDBMS. That is database management system and here we are going to learn what is a database, what are applications of database and what language we have to make use of while working with database concept. So that is what you are going to learn here and also SQL, means SQL is a language, it is a structured query language, SQL is a structured query language, it is a language of database and under that we are going to learn few SQL commands. We have different types of SQL commands like DDL, DML, DCL and TCL. We are going to learn the commands with syntax and examples. Next one is concept is internet basics. It is we are going to learn the basic definition of internet, applications of internet and also different technical terms involving in, in internet. Next one is web basics. As all of you know what is web, it is a website or website web designing all this comes under this and we are going to learn the definition of web concept of web browsers and http these are called protocols and html5 and css and here we are going to learn about html is a language for web designing so this is comes under unit 3 now let us move on to next slide and here these are the three units for your the first semester BCA. So here entire your paper is for 100 marks out of 100, 60 marks is for theory and 40 marks for internal. So out of 100 marks paper, 60 marks we are going to learn under three different units and on 40 marks is for internal. And here is internal, again 40 marks is internal, again you have to write there are two internals, internal 1 and internal 2. So your 40 marks is divided into, into two parts or two internals, 20 marks each. Now next slide, it is a question paper pattern. This is for 60 marks. In question paper, we have part A. There are, this is 50 marks into 3 is 45 and it is 3 marks, 5 questions. It is 15 and it is total it is it is 60 marks. So this is your question paper pattern for this BCA first semester. Now as per the this standard, these are standard textbook for your reference. Pradeep K. Sinha and uh, Preeti Sinha and uh, David Riley and uh, Kenny Hind. This is another textbook and again J. Glenn Brockshire and R. J. Dromey. These are the textbooks you can refer. Student, 
in this session have explained or introduced the syllabus of first year BCA students. Now let us continue our discussion in my next session. Thank you very much.